back to my channel. If you're here, it's because you just watched part one. If not, I'm going to link down below to part one of how to prepare for your reborn baby. Before we get started, I just want to make sure you hit that button down below to subscribe. Hit that bell as well so you get all the new updates for all the videos that are going to be coming out. Also, head on over to Instagram. Give Reborn Loves 92 a follow. Um, if you're more prominent on Instagram, spend more time there than you do on YouTube. That is where I'll update in all my new videos. You'll see all sorts of updates, everything, pictures, what have you. It'll be over on Instagram. I have a Reborn roleplay page that you can follow. It's called littlefamily.bigdreamers. And uh, you'll see all the storyline updates there if you like storylines to, to the pictures, everything. You'll see more of the photo shoots that I take of her when she gets here. So now that we covered all that, let's get started. Today is part two of the two-part video that I'm creating on how to prepare for a reborn. Today's discussion is going to be more so about buying and everything and getting situated and prepared. Before we get started on that though, I want to touch on something that I started doing because of another YouTuber, another Reborn collector. She had a huge presence in the Reborn community and she was a huge influence over my myself being in Reborns. Um, her name was Laura and her YouTube actually is still up. It's Little X Loves. She unfortunately passed away a couple years ago, um, but her memory is still solid and a big part of the Reborn community. Um, but she influenced a big part of it for me, which was notebooks. Um, she created a video where she went over her notebooks and everything that was like what she did with them. Basically, she recorded about all of her Reborns that she had, um, their names, their information, the artists, what they looked like, everything like that. So I kind of took that idea from her and I tweaked it myself. So now a big thing that I do when I start preparing is I get myself a notebook. Um, I get basically just get one that inspires me. So I found this one at Christmas tree shops. So you can literally get your notebook from anywhere. You get it from Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, whatever fits your means or whatever fits what you want, go for it. But a notebook is a big part of it for me. And then the first page that I usually do is I put down the information. I put down the kit name, I put down her name in it, I put down the artist, her hashtag, any type of information that I want to have recorded in here, that's what I put down. As well as her birthday. Um, a lot of times a birthday is what's on like the birth certificate, what comes with the artist, when the artist sends the reborn. Um, so that would be like the day that she was put together and finished. But for me, that's the day that I get her. So even though the birth certificate will say the day she was completed, that will be her completion date. Her birthday will be the day she's home. So yeah, that's what I do on the first page there in my notebook. And then throughout my notebook, I do lists on names. I start searching anywhere you can to find names, whether it be on Instagram or Pinterest. I search the names. I write down names that stand out to me. And then from there, I go and I create name combinations. Um, so first name and middle name and then once I kind of narrow it down to names like that that I like I start trying to come up with hashtags that work. It kind of just helps my brain process it all better to kind of pick out the name that I really want for her um, but this one I'm really struggling because I think I need to see her to be able to name her. Um, just looking at a picture I can't find the right name for her. So with that being said that's what I record in here to kind of help me get there. And then on the next page, um, I do a lot of the photography stuff. I really love photography. I actually used to be a photographer. Now I'm up to date with this modern technology and have a nice new camera that I can use. I plan on taking a lot more pictures of her since her size is more interactive and I can do more realistic things with what age she actually would be if she was living, breathing baby. So I created a page for all of the photo shoot ideas that I have for Thanksgiving, for for Easter, for Christmas, everything is in here. So I will use them on my Reborn Loves page and I'll also use them on my Reborn Roleplay page. So that's kind of what I start with in here. And then the next thing that I do in here is I make lists. I break down everything that I'm looking for, everything that I need. Um, so now that I'm mentioning that, we're going to go back a little bit and get started about how to start your notebook, how to start everything like that. Um, so. First up, now that you have your notebook, is you want to set up your space for your reborn. If you plan on using an entire room and creating a nursery for your reborn, or you know, if you have a small space in your room or in your closet, you're going to designate that space specifically for the reborn. For me, my fiance and I moved into a beautiful two bedroom apartment and I have a great walk-in closet in my room. I banished him to our guest bedroom closet so I could have the full walk-in to myself. He was totally on board with this, I promise. 
And um, that way it kind of gave me a little bit of a nook in my closet. Uh, but since then we've decided both to kind of jump into YouTube and being creators. Uh, so we turned our guest bedroom partially into a guest bedroom, partially into an office, which is all behind the camera right now. And that way I was able to move my setup from the closet into the office space. That way I can work right by her if I need to interact better and it makes it easier for me to interact with her setup if I need to. So now we're going to break down the setup that I've created. That is the next step basically is looking into your storage system. If you're going to be creating a whole nursery, look into the furniture that you're going to need. A crib, bassinet, dresser, changing table, whatever you want for that nursery, create that. Or if you have a small space like me, which is what I'm kind of going to gear this more towards, um, that's the next step. So for me, I looked up the plastic storage drawers like you would see at Target or at Walmart. They're very popular on back to school time just because they're pop, like prominently used in college dorms. That's what I actually use. They're actually pretty nice. I got the like white wicker weave ones. Um, I'll actually create a video to give you a tour of my setup so you can kind of see what I'm talking about a bit more. So that's what I use, but you can use anything that you want to use, honestly. This is what I found though works best for me. So now that you have your drawer system set up, your storage system, everything like that, you're going to move on to the bedding. Like again, if you're going to have a nursery, look into cribs, look into bassinets, whatever you like. I really wanted a bassinet, but it just wasn't feasible for the space that we have. So instead, I asked my mom, who picked up a quarantine hobby, she started crocheting. So she's actually crocheting me a Moses basket for my reborn. Um, I was going to go with a wicker basket. It didn't fit the vibe or the feel or anything like that. And I didn't like how it looked with the drawer system that I have. So instead, I asked her to make this for me since when I was looking them up on Etsy, they were just a little bit out of my price range. So that's still a work in progress. I'm hoping it'll be here before my reborn gets here, but it probably isn't. But that's okay. When she's done with it, it's fine. I don't need it emergently. It'll get here soon. Anyway, so now we decided on bedding, everything like that. Now is the time where I start making my lists of what I need to shop for. And I'm actually going to give you an example of that right here. I create a list of haves and a list of needs. So I have a lot of stuff from previously having reborns. I have a lot of stuff from like my friend sending me things for my reborns and everything. So I'll create one page, I'll create a list of haves, and the other I'll create a list of needs. When I create that list of needs, like you see here, I do check marks next to it. So I do little boxes, that way I can check it off as I go. It's a little bit neater, it looks a little bit more organized, and that's how I like it to look. Breaking down this list now, the first couple things that you would need that I think are important are basic white onesies. I like to have at least one short sleeve, one long sleeve, and one tank top. Why are they important? They're important because when you dress your reborn, you want to make sure you have a barrier between the vinyl and the clothing. And the white onesies are really good for that. Why do you need a barrier? Vinyl, which is what the kits are made of, are very porous and they can absorb dyes and oils very easily. So the dyes that you wouldn't think of, you know, sometimes new jeans, um, your legs can kind of turn blue a little bit after wearing them. It's kind of the same thing, except you can't just wash it off. Um, it actually absorbs into the vinyl and stains it. Um, and it sometimes can come out, sometimes it's really hard to get out. Um, and sometimes just as permanently stained and you can't. So to avoid that, I like getting the white onesies and I like getting white tights or socks. That way, um, let's say if I put them in jeans, I can put the stockings on first and it creates that barrier. So if it dyes anything, if it stains anything, it'll stain the tights, I can wash those right out, um, unlike the vinyl. Another way I like to avoid staining of the vinyl is by dressing them in lighter colors. So if when I show you my tour of my space, you'll see the majority of the clothing that I have for her, besides a couple of pants, are mostly bright or pastel colors. Things without heavy dark dyes to it, like reds or blues or anything like that. I think I have one pair of jeggings and one pair of light gray leggings, and that is it. Everything else is light pinks or light purples, light bright colors that won't as easily rub off or stain, and if it does, it won't be noticeable. Next thing on the list, like I said, you're going to get the tights, you're going to get stockings. I like to dress my reborns in season. So I like to get the heavier knitted tights to kind of go with the fall feel and the, the winter feel, everything like that. If I put her in dresses, she has those thicker tights on. Um, I know she's not a real baby, so she doesn't feel cold. 
cold technically can damage your vinyl. It can make it hard. It can make it too soft and melty. So that's what I like to do there. Next, if you want to get diapers, you can. Um, I don't usually buy diapers for my reborn. I don't usually change the diapers. Um, if I do, it's for like a role play video or something like that. I usually keep them in the diaper that they come in and then I'll swap it out for another one when it starts getting kind of ratty. If you're looking for diapers on a budget, Walmart sells them pretty cheap for a box. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. You just have to look for the right size. Next, you want to look get into blankets. Um, I like to have one blanket on the bedding, one kind of like lovey blanket, so one that'll cover her or that she'll like snuggle with for like the role play videos. I also have a blanket for a play mat that I'm going to be using um, just to like lay out on the floor for her to sit on. Um, just so anything like oil is on the floor or anything like that or like just normal dirt from walking around doesn't like damage her at all. I'm going to put that blanket down so I have blankets like that. Next we'll talk about cleaning. So you don't really have to clean your reborns that much, kind of just like dust off the dirt or anything like that if they're vinyl. Um, if you have silicone, I know you do have to wash them, I just don't know the washing process of that. If your reborn has rooted hair, um, I like to get shampoo and conditioner, uh, stuff like that. I've heard that you can use fabric softener. The mohair is from alpaca, I believe. So as a real hair, like you wouldn't really want to use fabric softener on it. So I'm still kind of trying to figure out what works best to like keep the hair healthy without damaging it. Um, just because it is very, very fine hair and it's rooted very, very finely. You also don't want to get the scalp too wet just in case it loosens like the glue that's inside of the head to like seal the hair. I also use like a baby tingler spray, so I really like the Honors Company. I use that a lot um, for like a spray and everything like that. Uh, brush and a comb. Again, be very, very careful with the hair. Pulling it too hard can actually pull the hair out and your baby will lose hair. And unfortunately, reborns don't regrow their hair, so you'll have bald spots on a reborn head and you'll have to send it off to get fixed, or you'll have to cover it if you can't send it off to get fixed. So to avoid all of that, just be super, super careful with the hair. I try not to brush it when it's dry, just because it could break easier. I only really brush it out gently when it's wet. You can also use a very soft bristled toothbrush. Um, I would recommend getting like a baby toothbrush. So the container would literally say like soft on it to make sure that it's safe for the reborn's head and for the hair. Another thing I like to have is a baby carrier. It adds to the role play and if I need to do things but I want to have that reborn with me, I'll just pop her right in the carrier. I actually got my carrier off of eBay for like $8 in shipping. Like I said, I like to get a lot of my stuff used so that's usually where I go for stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I have like a really simple basic baby carrier that I got off there. So that's another good option or you can go wherever you'd like and buy one as well. Or if you like the Moby Wraps, buy a Moby Wrap. Um, if you can't buy a wrap or anything like that, um, another alternative that I found is I made a Moby Wrap. Um, if you guys want to see a video for how to make your own Moby Wrap, comment below, let me know, and I can create that video for you. As well as how to like wrap it on you so it sits right on you. So now we're going to move on to clothes. I love the clothes part. I love baby clothes. They're so ridiculously cute. Um, so this is the fun part. I break down what I need, you know, pants, I usually get one pair of skinny jeans, I'll get a bunch of leggings, sweatpants, stuff like that, um, sweatshirts if you're getting into the fall season, winter season like I am with when mine's coming home, so that's what I'll do there. Um, I usually mark down how many I want, so I usually only do one pair of skinny jeans, I'll do a couple different leggings, a couple different styles of sweatshirts or sweaters. I like to have at least one white sweater because for all the holiday outfits, if the outfit's not long sleeve and it's going to be chilly that time of year, um, I like to have the sweater. So like Easter, her Easter dress, I still need to get a sweater for it. Or short sleeve onesies are good for layering if you do put like a jacket over it or whatever, even for fall and winter. Um, and then again, you have them for summer and for spring. So they're very versatile there. Uh, long sleeve shirts as well and just regular t-shirts if you just want the regular t-shirt instead of that tucked in onesie look. I kind of prefer the t-shirt look so I try to look for more t-shirts than I need onesies. And then I start breaking down into like the holiday outfits. So I have like a Christmas dress, her Thanksgiving dress, um, I'll put her Easter dress down and everything like that and as I get those items I'll check them off. And then like the pajamas and everything. So that's kind of what I'll do to like start my list. And then I'll go through check them off and usually I'll check it off and I'll add it to the list of what I have already just so I don't end up rewriting and be like, wait a second, I don't have this. I can just go and check my haves list and make sure that it's right there. So now that you have your lists, everything like that, 
you can start shopping and start getting everything. Um, I use lists as a guideline just to make sure I get the basics down and I cover all the outfits that I need so I'm not scrambling like come the holiday. So like for Halloween right now I still don't have a Halloween costume and I still don't have the outfit that I want to create for it so I probably am going to be scrambling a bit to get all that together in time for those pictures. I may end up just do, doing a DIY uh, thing. Um, a big thing right now that I saw on TikTok was like the ghost pictures so I might do something like that instead just to kind of like cover for it unless I can find a costume at like Goodwill. Um, so for now I have no clue what I'm doing for that but we'll see. So you can really just use these lists as a guide. They don't have to be followed verbatim. You can do whatever you want with them. Um, if you like to follow them exactly how I do, then go for it. If you're like me, like to be more organized like that. Or if you can be organized without the lists, I wish I could be you. <laughs> so this is just the technique that I came up with to make things easier for me. I'm a Virgo. I like lists. I like organization. So that's what I did this for. Um, again, be careful with those denim and those dark colors. If you do decide to put your reborn in those colors, there's no rules saying that you can't. I would just suggest putting something underneath to act as a barrier so nothing gets damaged. It takes so much time to plan for everything and, and get it set to where you want it to be. Uh, you just want to take care of it too. That's all. So, get organized too. Figure out which drawers you're going to use for what. Again, I'm going to show you a breakdown in another video of my setup. That way I can show you everything that I do to get organized and to stay organized. You can even see the technique that I use to fold all my clothes to kind of maximize the space that I have in them. Um, yeah, just organize it like you with your own dresser. Make it fun. It helps pass the time to get ready. Um, and then the final stage before she comes home is nesting. I absolutely love the nesting process because you're getting excited because your reborn's about to be home with you. You're about to have this really cool box opening and you're about to have a reborn that you waited ages for. So I usually do this during the time of shipment. Um, for me, it's basically getting the final, final touches done. Wash all the clothes. I'll refold everything. I'll get it all organized. I'll seal all the bottles and prep anything else that I need to. I'll also make bow bows. I've started making a lot of hair bows because I haven't been able to find specific bows that I'm looking for. So I actually bought the hair clips that are like covered in the fabric. Um, if you guys want to see a video again on how to make bows, comment down below. I'll show you how I make them. It's actually really easy. I don't do anything like super fancy with it. It's just a basic bow, but they look super, super cute. And they're going to look super cute in her hair when she's finally home. Um, so let me know down below again if you want to see that video. Um, I may just make it for fun anyway because I love making the bows. Alright guys, so that's basically my process. That's how I go through everything and through trial and error that's how I learned to get organized and to get prepared for it. It kind of helps me with the bonding process too because it gets me so excited for, for her to come home. It's it's like for me personally getting ready for a baby. I know it's not the same but it feels like that for me and that's the part that like I enjoy with rewards. Also don't forget to hit that bell down below so you can get updates for all the new videos. I have a lot of stuff coming in that I'm going to do reviews for. Uh, so you'll see all of those. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And then head over to Instagram if you haven't already. Follow me there on RebornLoves92 and my Reborn roleplay page. LittleFamily.BigDreamers. Alright guys, till next time. Bye!